Hi everyone, I'm Pour and Purple student reporter Megan Hussline, and we're here at Alumni Stadium. Behind me, the installation of the new field turf continues in preparation for the upcoming 2019 football season. This four-week process began back on July 10th when the Moats Group began tearing up the previous field turf that was installed all the way back in 2005. With that old field being removed, coupled with kickoff of the 2019 season being nearly 30 days away, we thought it'd be fun to take a look back at the most memorable moments for DeSales football over the past 13 seasons on the old field turf. Of course, we have to start with the very first game on the brand new turf, so we go back to 2005. Alumni Stadium had been the home to Stallion football since 1988, but in 2005, the stadium was renovated and an artificial playing surface was installed. The first game was certainly a memorable moment. Unfortunately, the Stallions, the eventual Division III state runner-ups, lost their home opener to Toledo St. John's Jesuit 20-17. In 2016, the Stallion offense set a school record for most points scored in a single season with 588 points, which is 42 per game. One of the reasons for this success was senior running back Alonzo Booth. In a Week 5 game against Covington Catholic, Booth set a school record with 320 yards rushing to go along with five touchdowns in a 42-17 victory over the Colonels. The owner of the program's career rushing record, with 3,352 yards, Booth set a series record against rival Bishop Watterson with 269 yards against the Eagles in 2015 and a 24-7 victory over Watterson, Coach Wiggins' ninth win over the Eagles in 12 tries. Speaking of running back performances, in 2011, Warren Ball, a first-team All-Ohio selection, crossed the goal line six times in a 48-12 victory over Brookhaven. It's part of a school record season where the future national champion Buckeye and Akron Zip totaled 29 touchdowns in his senior campaign. How about the 557 yards rushing against Finley in 2009? A 56-23 win for the Stallions. The purple and white carried the ball 54 times and averaged over 10 yards per carry. Let's flash back to Joe Riley's reaction to hearing his team tallied 500 plus on the ground. That much tonight? Yeah. Man, that's, that's really something special. Six players had at least 50 yards rushing, led by backup quarterback J.P. Mazako's 125 yards. Brian Clark rushed for 151 yards in the 2006 St. Charles game, a 35-0 win for the Stallions, their 30th over Broad Street. Chris Rock's one-handed catch against Watterson in the 2008 playoffs has to be included because, well, it's a great pass by Thomas Gentili, an incredible snag by Rock, but also because Pouring Purple Tom loses his mind. Here's his call. Gentili fake is, sets up the throw, goes in zone, Rock is there, and he makes a beautiful one-hand catch for the touchdown! Oh, what a grab by Chris Rock! In a 2020 game against New Albany in 2007, sophomore Adam Griffin had a key kickoff return against the Eagles late in the fourth, which set up a Jeff Sherman 38-yard field goal who drilled it with eight seconds left in a rematch of the 2006 Regional Championship. In 2016, senior place kicker Dominic DeMacio tied a school record with a 55-yard field goal and a 47-7 win over Canal Winchester. Let's talk defense. After stallion punter Anthony Chimichella pinned the Eagles deep and a sales leading 2014 late in the fourth quarter, Senior lineman Jamez McKinney sacked Austin Green in the end zone for a safety to make it a two-possession lead for the purple and white. Also from the 2016 victory over Covington Catholic, defensive back Jared Noble on the final play of the first half returned a Colonel pass 104 yards for a touchdown on a pivotal game-changing play as the Stallions would take a 28-17 lead into the locker room en route to a 49-17 victory. In 2009 against Watterson, Chichi Araguzo had a key interception early in the third quarter, deep in Stallion territory to prevent a two-score lead for the Eagles. Nick Gentili ended with 160 yards, including a 61-yard run to set up Adam Griffin's go-ahead score, as DeSales would win its third straight CCL championship for the first time since 1996-98. The Stallion defense shut out Westerville North 42-0 in 2007 and it was the first time in school history that the Stallions opened the season with three straight shutouts. Speaking of 2007, you cannot talk about memorable moments inside Alumni Stadium without talking about the 2007 Watterson game. 
With the Stallions on the losing end of a nine-game losing streak to the Eagles, Jeff Walsh emerged from a scrum in the waning moments and raced 34 yards for a game-winning touchdown in front of the largest crowd in alumni stadium history, as the Stallions won it 13-6 in Ryan Wiggins' first game as head coach against Watterson. Here's former voice of the Stallions, Scott Bacon, with the call. 17 seconds to go. He takes the snap. He hands it off up the middle. Did he get the first down? Breaking loose is Walsh. He's inside the 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Forget the first down. How about the house? From 33 yards out, Jeff Walsh is into the end zone. And it is purple pandemonium here at the sales. Later in 2007, in week 10, in his first year as head coach of his alma mater, longtime assistant Ryan Wiggins led the Stallions to an undefeated regular season by defeating Benedictine 35-14 and won the program's first CCL championship since 2000. The Stallions held the Bengals to just 88 yards of offense. Going back to the first year inside the newly renovated Alumni Stadium, the Stallions earned their first victory on the new field turf against Kettering Alter, a dominating defensive performance by the Purple and White, Justin Moore crossed the goal line for six, and later disrupted an alter option play that resulted in a turnover. In 2010, in a rematch of the 2009 state championship game, DeSales welcomed in Youngstown Cardinal Mooney, the defending state champs. The injury-riddled Stallions were aided by a breakout performance by senior running back Evan Kendrick, whose 68-yard touchdown run in the fourth quarter gave the Stallions a 17-point lead in a huge game that went a long way towards clinching a state's second-best streak of 17 consecutive playoff appearances. The 2013 homecoming was certainly a memorable one for alumni and friends here at Alumni Stadium. Tucker Yinger had touchdown runs of 79 and 77 yards to help lead the Stallions over the defending Division IV state champions, Clinton Massey. The Falcons, who would win another state title later in that same season, allowed a 78-yard kickoff return by Josh Delosier in the 21-16 loss to DeSales. From 2005 through 2018, the Stallions shut out 12 opponents in Alumni Stadium, and perhaps the most unusual was the Gehanna game in 2009, postponed from Friday night to Saturday morning at 10 a.m. But the Stallion defense was ready to play. Five different Stallions scored in the season opening win, and it just happened to be the 21st regular season win for the Stallions after back-to-back -back undefeated regular seasons in 2007 and in 2008. In total, the Stallions went 8-0 in home regional quarterfinal playoff games on the old field turf that dated back to 2005. The first postseason victory came in that 05 season against Hillsboro, a 56-0 decision, where the Stallions held the Indians to negative 21 yards through the first 21 minutes, as the Stallions raced out to a 49-0 halftime lead. More exceptional defense in a 2007 regional quarterfinal against Zanesville and a 50-7 win for the Purple and White. Blue Devil running back Brian Gators came into the game against the Stallions with over 1,800 rushing yards in 10 games and was limited to just 3 yards rushing. In a 2015 regional quarterfinal against Chillicothe, the Stallions raced out to a 42-7 halftime lead. Alonzo Booth scored four times and it was the 15th time that a DeSales team won 10 games in a season. How about Adam Griffin's huge game against Bryant in 2009 in a regional quarterfinal? 45 yard line, has the 50, got some blockers. Griffin to the 40 yard line, still free, 35, 30, another blocker, 20 yard line, 15, 10, 5, end zone, touchdown, Stallion! 243 all-purpose yards for the future Buckeye on just 17 touches in less than three quarters and a 45 to 21 win. More Alonzo Booth talk. It was a 2016 regional quarterfinal game where he broke Dino Rosanna's school record for career rushing yards, a 55-13 win over Sheridan. 
Ohio Mr. Football candidate Josh Kuzan recorded 14 tackles and rushed for 135 yards for DeSales, who came into that regional quarterfinal 0-4 all-time against Watterson in the postseason. It feels real good, you know. Uh, there's not a lot of firsts that we get around here, especially to be the first team to beat Watterson twice. It's a real special moment right now. It feels real good. Looking back on all of these remarkable moments on our very own field fired me up for the upcoming season, as I'm sure it did for you as well. The football team's home opener on the new turf is week three, September 13th, against Notre Dame Cathedral Latin at 7 p.m. If you can't make it to the game, remember that you can listen live to all of the Stallion football games right here on PouringPurple.com. A shout out to our primary sponsor, the Sam Chapman Agency of the Farmers Insurance Group. I had a lot of fun reminiscing on these momentous occasions, and I hope you enjoyed as well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next week. PPM, out.